A one-year-old left fighting for her life. Police believe a babysitter physically abused her while the girl's mother was at work. When I call her name, she does not look at me. She does not respond. I don't know what the future holds. Now, 23-year-old Kayla Benson's facing a felony charge of aggravated child abuse against one-year-old Siren Malone. And we've learned that Vincent turned herself in after a judge issued a warrant for her arrest. And we talked to the child's mother who is just heartbroken because her daughter is still fighting for her life. News 4 Jacks reporter Eric Avenier spoke with the child's mother tonight. And he's joining us live outside Wolfson Children's Hospital where the little girl is on life support. And Eric, she told you that she's holding out hope, every hope that she has that her little girl will pull through. Yes, Siren's mom tells me that her daughter now has permanent brain damage and that at some point she might have to make the decision to pull her daughter off of life support if it comes down to her daughter having to make or having to spend the rest of her life sitting in a bed. This is Siren Malone prior to January 30th. The picture illustrates a little girl so full of life. A stark contrast to this picture following January 30th when she was admitted into Wolfson Children's Hospital in critical condition. Her mom, Nicole Clayton, remembers the moment she got a phone call at work telling her that her daughter was seriously injured. I couldn't stand up when they told me. Siren suffered lacerations to both her spleen and liver. She also suffered brain swelling. Police say prior to Siren's injuries, 23-year-old Kayla Vinson was babysitting her. Clayton found Vinson on a babysitter website. I actually did a background check on her, so to, you know, make sure that she was someone safe. Background check came back fine. Um, we met up one weekend and talked to her, met her kids, saw her place. Everything looked good to go. But on January 30th, something happened inside this townhome that left Siren critically injured. Police say Vincent told them the child fell down a flight of stairs. But a medical report from the child protection team concluded Siren's injuries were the result of physical abuse and not consistent with falling downstairs. A warrant was issued for Vincent's arrest, so she turned herself in to face one count of aggravated child abuse. In the meantime, Siren has undergone multiple surgeries, and her mom says she is still on life support. Her mother says she's being told by doctors that if she survives, she will suffer from permanent brain damage. To be told that, hey, um, maybe she won't do more than lay in a bed um, and be fed. It's horrible because that's not a life. And it's more than difficult, and it's more than what I even feel capable of doing as far as making these decisions for my daughter. Because as a parent, when you have a child, there is no part of you that wants to see them leave this earth before you do. If Siren doesn't improve, her mother says she may be forced to make a very difficult decision to take her child off of life support. Now, as we said earlier on, Clayton is holding out hope that her daughter will pull through. In the meantime, she is asking for the public's help because uh, those hospital bills are, in fact, adding up, and they are adding up fast. If you think you can help, please go to our website at newsforjacks.com. You can click on the story. There embedded in the story, you will find a link to the GoFundMe page to help out with those hospital bills. Reporting live from outside Wolfson's Children's Hospital, Eric Avenier, Channel 4, The Local Station.